Hi friends and new friends. Welcome to the Ara Yogi channel. I'm Julia, your yoga instructor for arthritis, living with rheumatoid arthritis. Today I will be teaching three ways to safely get up from the floor, practice in yoga for arthritis. I am reminded constantly while teaching others with arthritis and in my everyday life that sitting down on the floor does not necessarily come easy. And for some, it might not be accessible at all. It is a reality in yoga class that must be addressed. If you are watching this video from the comfort of your home, what you'll need for this practice is a folded blanket or a foam knee pad. If you have a yoga wedge, you can bring it with you. It's typically used to relieve pressure in the wrists and hands during a yoga practice, a sturdy chair, and most importantly, bring a yoga mat. And I say most importantly because we want to place our props, including our chair, on our yoga mat so if we move or put pressure on the chair, it doesn't slide. I look forward to teaching you something new you can enjoy this video seated on a chair, simply observing the video, and then deciding if you want to give one of these options a try. If you're feeling worried about how you might get up from the floor, you can always use a spotter, such as a yoga teacher, a friend, a family member that might be able to assist you if you're having any difficulties during the process of getting up from the floor but my goal is to teach you different ways to make you feel more confident, more independent with coming from the floor to a standing position. I hope that this video is helpful. If it is, then please do leave me a comment below and let me know which option you like the best. Give the video a like, share it with a friend that might need this video, and we'll get started. So our first option will be to slowly move into a tabletop position facing the chair. So we're going to take our time to stretch the legs in front of us and move really mindfully, keeping the knees slightly bent, keeping a nice elongated spine so you're sitting up nice and tall. I'm just shaking out the legs and the wrists a little bit moving the fingers because I've been sitting here for a few minutes just filming this video. You can choose your foam knee pad or your blanket. I'm going to go for a blanket because I feel like most people have blankets at home. So find tabletop position. So tabletop position is simply the knees aligned with the hips. So right underneath the hips and the hands underneath the shoulders and be very light on the hands, spreading the fingers wide, creating a nice long spine. So we have different options from tabletop position. Our first option, if the toes and the feet are not affected by arthritis, you can tuck the toes under as though you're coming into downward facing dog, inverted V, and very mindfully breathe in, keeping the head in line with the spine, just listening to the sound of my voice. And then exhale, press away from the yoga mat and the ground. Lift the hips like you're coming into inverted V. Bend the knees generously. And you have the option to walk the hands to the feet like this until you're in a forward fold with your knees bent as much as they'd like. Maybe you're gonna enjoy this forward fold for a minute. Just relaxing the head, moving it mindfully side to side. Or you can walk the feet to the hands to come into the same position, the forward fold. Once you're in the forward fold, gently lift your gaze, take your hands to your thighs, inhale to ground into your feet and lengthen all the way up into a standing position. Option two, for some people, it's uncomfortable, very painful, and not possible to tuck the toes under in tabletop position. 
So we're going to come back to tabletop to try another variation. Place the knees right on top of your blanket, creating a nice cushioning to support those joints. And you also have the option to use your yoga wedge. I'm just walking my hands over to grab my yoga wedge. Placing the yoga wedge with the thick side facing you and the thinner side away from you as we want to decrease the flexion in the wrist. So by placing the hand on the angled wedge, we're actually releasing some of the flexion in the wrist, which might be comfortable for those of you that have arthritis in the wrist. Bring your attention to the entire body and take a few mindful breaths. This is a yoga practice after all. And in yoga, we combine breath with movement and we unify the mind, body, and spirit. So from tabletop position, using our yoga wedge, if you have one at home, if not, that's perfectly fine. We have our chair set up in front of us for added support. We're going to step our right or left foot forward. Use whichever knee, ankle, or foot is least affected by arthritis. The right leg is my stronger leg, so I'm using this leg today. And this is a great way to build strength in the lower body, to create confidence, and again, to not have to tuck those toes under. We're actually going to drive our weight into the heel of the foot pressing through our hands to step the left leg or opposite leg to meet our right. So if you're not using the yoga wedge anymore, you can move it to the side. Make sure your hands are steady on your chair. Breathe in. Drive into this right foot, making sure the heel is underneath the knee and the thigh is parallel to the ground. Exhale as you come up to step the foot in line with the other. And again, like before, send your hands to your thighs and inhale with a long spine to come all the way up in Tadasana Mountain Pose. You can ground for a few minutes, breathing, pausing. You also have the option to come back into your tabletop position without the chair. So this is a bit more challenging. I would say that this would be um, a really good way to increase balance, strength in the lower body, in the abdominals, but make sure you use a chair at first until you build strength in both of those legs. Our third option is without the chair. So what we'll do is I'm going to be using my stronger leg again. Um, I'd recommend using the stronger leg when you're not using a chair. We are removing the chair and doing the same movement. So you have the option to step your strongest leg forward. Make sure that your foot is in line with your knee and your thigh is parallel to the ground. Your torso is upright. You can bring your hands to your hips or to your thigh for more stability. Breathe in and then exhale to bring your weight into the heel, drive through that front foot and send your opposite foot to meet the front leg. Now you can come into mountain for a few breaths because we use a lot of effort to get up. And we want to relax the body and the mind. It's not easy getting up and down from the floor, is it? I hope you enjoyed my video on three ways to move from the floor to standing. It's so important that we gain as much accessible independence as possible as we move throughout our lives with arthritis. Let me know which option you like the best. Leave me a comment right below and remember that you can live well with arthritis. From my heart to yours, 
Namaste.